Did you know we lose 8% of our muscle every decade over the age of 40 until we get to 70 and then it's like 15 freaking percent. What's up, fitness fam? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. All right, so here's a big topic today. I get asked this sometimes. How do I know if I'm burning muscle and not fat? So here are six big signs that that may be happening to you so you can avoid them. Number one, you are losing weight too fast. Who knew that would be a problem? But yes, that could be a clear sign that you're losing um, muscle instead of fat. So be really careful. You don't wanna lose more than one pound per week. That's about the average, but honestly, the scale's not accurate anyway, especially if you're lifting weights. Go by your measurements, measure your waist, your hips, and also go by your pictures and how your clothes fit because your clothes will never lie to you. <laughs> Number two, you're lifting weights fasted. Oh, please don't do this. So I made this mistake a long time ago and I didn't get anywhere and let me explain why. You never want to starve your body of protein. That's number one. Number two, when you get up and lift in a fasted state, literally your body is likely to take your muscle and use it for an energy source versus the fat. I do not recommend lifting fasted. You could do like, you know, a, card, a little bit of cardio if you want to, but even that, be careful. I would prioritize your protein, get up, have some protein, and then go to the but make sure that you eat before you lift, seriously, because it will take your muscle over time, particularly if your calories are way too low. Sign number three, you are not eating enough protein. This is absolutely crucial. You need one gram of protein per pound of body weight or goal weight. And if you're a bigger person, and I say that lovingly, cause yeah, been there, <laughs> uh, go for your goal weight in grams of protein. A lot of coaches and people don't talk about this, but that's super important. Go for your goal weight in grams of protein, okay? And as far as the other macros go, they're important as well. So everybody's gonna be different on how much they need. So find you a good online calculator to figure out yours. I have a great one at my website, clairemorrow.com. My books will also show you what you need to eat for fat loss, full meal plan in this one and workouts, as well as I just came out with a cookbook recently, Fluffy to Fit Cookbook, full macros with each recipe. No other cookbook did this, but I did this for you so that there's no guesswork. You know exactly what you're eating. Anyway, shameless plug, I know. <laughs> so yeah, make sure you're getting all the macros you need to help you grow as well. Sign number four, that you may be losing muscle instead of fat. You're not using your muscles. As my mom used to say, you don't use it, you lose it. And that is the gosh darn truth. Did you know we lose 8% of our muscle every decade over the age of 40 until we get to 70 and then it's like 15 freaking percent. So yeah, that explains why you see all these older people walking around real hunched over because they've lost so much muscle naturally, but that can be prevented now with HRT, getting enough protein and lifting weights. So make sure that you're lifting weights. Cardio ain't gonna do it, sis. I'm telling you, and guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, cardio is not gonna cut it. You'll end up looking skinny fat, you'll lose muscle. Lifting weights is the best way to keep muscle on you. It's the glue that keeps your body together, I swear. So make sure you're using those muscles. You don't have to go hard, you know, just enough to keep muscle on you. And then it also looks kind of pretty too, at least I think so, but I'm a little biased in that department. <laughs> so make sure you're lifting. But real quick, how much do you need to lift? So I would work out four to five times per week for 45 minutes to an hour, split up your body parts. That's the way to do it. I've done lots of other videos on this. Make sure you check out my other videos and comment and let me know what other videos you would like me to make because I've got a lot laundry list of things that I've been needing to do and haven't gotten around to yet. So your suggestions are always welcome. Sign number five, you are not letting yourself recover from your workouts. This is a big one. Well, they're all big, but this one is you've got to let yourself recover. You know, I've noticed, especially as I've gotten older, some of you know this, I'm 51 years old. I started lifting at 42 and it was a lot easier at 42 to start recovering than it is now. So make sure that you give yourself plenty of time. Don't overwork your muscles. Seriously, one hour in the gym is plenty. You don't want to overtax your body and then just work your body parts one once per week. I work my shoulders once per week, my, my glutes I do every six days. You know, don't overtrain your legs. Just if you're still sore, wait another day. You're not gonna hurt anything by waiting another day. Believe me, you want those muscle fibers to go through that full process of repair before you hit them again. And also don't forget to check out some of the workouts that I've posted on here. I've got lots of great long form videos with how to do stuff at home, full tutorials. So don't miss my vids and let me know what you want me to do for you next. I'll be glad to help. And number six, not getting enough sleep. Oh, that can spike up your cortisol, which can make it harder for you to lose weight and a lot harder for you to recover. It can jack up your hormones. So really try to prioritize your sleep. Try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep a night, especially us ladies. We need actually a little bit more than men, which I know is not fair, but we do require it. So sleep is crucial to recovery, getting your hormones, you know, helping with your hormones and all that stuff. And I've done plenty of videos on how to get your hormones aligned. Make sure you watch those videos as well, especially the ones about where I talk about being over 
40, so they will help you. I also have a full chapter in my book on hormones, co-written by my hormone specialist, because you always want to go to a wellness doctor when you're going to get your hormones checked, and it's got a full list of how hormones affect fat loss, how they affect your well-being, and, and everything. I mean, the signs of low hormones or can't sleep at night, belly fat, can't lose weight no matter what you do, low libido, no energy, acne, all those can be signs of hormone imbalance. So make sure you get them checked. I talk about this a lot because this happened to me. When I was 38, this picture behind me, I was 38 and I had all this belly fat because my thyroid wasn't working right. Um, I was doing some other things wrong too, but I've talked about all that in the past. So those are your six signs. Make sure you share this, comment, like. Remember, you're not always going to see somebody's videos just because you follow or subscribe to their channel because of the way the algos work. So please interact with all the platforms on my videos so that you keep seeing them in the feed. It's really important and I would appreciate it as well so that the next person gets to see it too. All right, don't forget to pick up my books, Fluffy to Fit and Fluffy to Fit Cookbook. They will help you. I will have another video coming out soon on some meal prep. So I know you guys have been waiting for that. I've had some comments asking for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all the things, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.